Cheers. Mm. Hello friends, welcome back to another vlog. It's about 5.30 p.m. and I am drinking this caffeinated beverage because our day kind of starts at 7 p.m. tonight. They do the like graduating class, does their reading tonight, and then we will have like a party afterwards, and then I'm imagining there'll be like a after party after that. So we're gonna do all of it. It's our last day here where we're not having to pack. Um, so we're just gonna try and be really present with our friends here and enjoy our time. And then tomorrow we start packing up, which is insane to think about because right now it feels like we're very moved in here. I'm going to wrap up my day in terms of just tasks. I'm not really working right now. Um, I took some time off to write and just be here and that has been great. Um, so I'm still in that season, but I do have to do a little bit of work here and there. So I'm kind of just tying up those loose ends and <laughs> making sure I'm closing out the day well. Um, one of those things that I've been working on today is planning for San Francisco because <laughs> I'm planning for my next trip before I'm done with this trip because that's just like the season we're in. But I drew up my conference calendar so I could get a sense of what, when I would be able to work while I was at the conference because obviously I'm not having, I don't have time to like get ahead. So this is what my bullet journal looks like. The blue is travel days, purple is work, and these are all meetings. Um, yeah, so that's feeling good. I feel like I have a really strong sense of what this the conference is going to look like for me. Um, I also want to tell you if you are going to the conference, either especially online or in person, um, I'm doing a round table on Thursday at noon if you're interested in joining me. We just kind of talk about what we're hoping to get out of the conference and set our expectations and intentions and just get to know each other before the whole thing starts. So all that to say right now I'm going to check in on my day. My daily plan and then I'm going to do a little bit more planning for San Francisco I also need to book my travel to Montreal which is going to happen early September and uh, yeah I think those are the two things I need to do right now so I'm gonna plan some things for San Francisco make a brief list of places I want to go where I want to eat things I want to do ideas for the kiddo all of that kind of thing and then book travel for Montreal Okay, I need to start getting ready, but I wanted to show you what I've got so far um, for my travel notion. I've, I've clearly been obsessed with notion, but these are kind of some upcoming trips. I need to rename this. Let's rename this. Okay, eventually this will have <laughs> the names of the other trips I'm going on. This kind of coming up season but let's click on San Francisco um, we have a place for my packing list I don't have that like filled out yet this is my schedule this is a map of the area things that are good to know like I know I need to get a, the Mooney app for bus passes city pass to save money on tourist attractions um, and then like places to visit so I'm making links here I'm gonna make this prettier um, and then I'm gonna like somehow use photos to make that better or like a table or something. But for right now, I'm just kind of putting the links in. Um, I think maybe I'll make a table for places to go and just put the links in there, but that's the gist. <laughs> um, I don't wear bright lipstick much anymore, but we're trying it and we're going. I will vlog on my phone from here from now on. In which I bring home bottles of sand as a conversation piece is titled In Which I Bring Home Bottles of Sand. <laughs> <laughs> in our mouths resisting the urge to meet one another during the Celine Dion ballad. And when she hooks her index finger into my pants pocket, I remember the crumpled. 
level 20 I saved for my favorite drag team. Fuck Julie. <laughs> if she was so special, so full of integrity, why did she leave Eugene after he agreed to give up his clerical aspirations for her? Um, and we'll be starting with June 13th. Jenny had spent her life as a city girl, and with her childhood through the Depression, a weekend without... <laughs> What'd you get there? Yeah. Um. Good morning, friends. Um, I feel like I'm finally feel like a person right now. Um, we went hard last night. Like, um, it was like a karaoke, like a karaoke party. Um, I didn't karaoke, but Obi did and all of our friends did and we like danced a bunch and we were singing and that was an open bar and I woke up hungover. Like I have multiple days since we've been here. Um, we didn't really drink a lot before we came. We kind of like just kind of stopped and, and then we've been just trying to hang since we got here and I have been hung over, I think more days than not, honestly, but it's been really fun. Um, so this morning I'm heading over to my friend Elizabeth's house. Um, I think you guys saw her in the last vlog. She's a mindfulness coach. She does like body liberation. She's amazing. I am picking up McDonald's for me, her, and her husband, Adam, and then we're going to either do yoga or maybe we're going to swim in the pool. I don't know. We're just going to hang out. It's like our last little hangout before we move, so I'm just up for the ride, whatever whatever feels right. So we're going to go do that, but like right now, we're going to drive through McDonald's and get hungover breakfast. Um, can I get three number twos? What drink? Um, can I do an iced coffee for one? And then for the second one, can I do a medium hot coffee? Good morning. Good morning. Ah, here we go. Okay. Oh, this. Take this and put the next thing down oh. and I'll write it up there. Okay, okay thank you. Um, I didn't film anything while I was there <laughs> because, um, I just wanted to be there, you know, and be present. But, um... It was just amazing, and we did yoga, we ate breakfast, we, um, she is an amazing coach, we, like, talked about my future, um, and we just, like, went through and talked about what I'm thinking in terms of career and stuff, and she just held so much great space for me to explore that, and I'm really gonna miss her, <laughs> um, and, like, being able to just hang out with her on a whim is such a treat. Um, but now I'm heading back to town. I'm he heading back to campus to get lunch. I think I might meet up with a friend. I don't know. Or I might just kind of go get my own lunch. Um, but I'll try and link Elizabeth's stuff below. If you're looking for a coach for like mindfulness, body liberation, things like that, she is amazing. <laughs> We're back. Um, ooh, it is like 2.30. 
Um, Obes is in class. I have been gone all day. I left at like nine o'clock this morning. And then I've just been with friends all day, which is wonderful. Um, Elizabeth and I hung out until like noon. And then I met up with my friends Shannon and Molly for lunch right after that. And then we just, we hung out for like almost two hours. And now is our window of time to get things done. So I have a little bit of work to do. And then I need to pack to go home. Like the house. Um, Obi's done a lot. I need to do the rest and I'm, it feels weird. Um, once we pack, I need to make sure to leave certain things out, you know, like I need a shower tonight. Um, I'll need to like get ready in the morning, but otherwise, yeah, I'm pretty much packing up. We are, I haven't confirmed this with Obi yet. But I suggested dinner plans tonight with like whoever from the program wants to join us um, and maybe try and make that happen. Yeah, but it's our, it's, our, it's weird. It's our last night. I'm sad about it. Um, just to like leave our, our friends we made here. I really, I feel really spoiled by that. But I need to do a little bit of work. So I don't have a ton of work to do. I just need to check my emails. I need to see, like, I'm not gonna be able to really work tomorrow because we're gonna be on the road. So I need to kind of check in with that. Like, what do I have planned for tomorrow that I should do today or I should wait to do till tomorrow? That sort of thing. And then get started on, on the packing part. So, wish me luck and <laughs> let's let's do this. Uh, it is Friday. We are gearing up to move, but first we're going to go get coffee at Sterling's for our final little coffee. It's like probably not our final trip to Sterling's, but it is our final sit down. And maybe we'll get coffee to go. I don't know <laughs> before we leave, but we're going to go hang out and journal a little bit at the coffee shop. And you're fogging up. drenched in sweat the car is packed to the brim like the absolute brim and uh we're heading out so Obi has a couple of little errands to run he needs to get a hat from uh the swanee review is like a literary magazine here and he made friends with one of the people who work there and he said he would give him a hat so he's gonna go get a hat and then he, we, then he is picking up a package from the post office and I have to go drop off our key. So I'm gonna go drop off the key and then grab coffee for the road and then we're gone, which feels wild. Yesterday I was not at all ready to go. Um, and then this morning I was like, yeah, it's time. It feels officially ready for like, fully ready for time. We have some friends who are graduating today or tomorrow and we're, we're going to be sad to miss that, but otherwise, yeah, it's time to roll. So, um, yeah, let's go. Obi's calling. Let's go. 
Well, friends, we are home. Um, it's a little bit hectic. We had, um, I, we, I got here about an hour ago. The unload my car, things are just everywhere. It's like 90 degrees out, so I was like soaking in sweat. So I went and took a shower. Um, Obi had to go pick up the kiddo. Then in about 30 minutes, in like 10 minutes, we need to leave. Um, because at 6.30, Obi's doing a reading here um, for a quarterly reading series they do in Asheville, and he's reading one of his stories. So that's what we're doing. Um, so we're gonna do that, and I think that ends at like 8.30. We'll grab dinner somewhere, probably come home. Obi has homework to do. I think the kiddo and I will probably crash, and then uh, tomorrow we'll get our life in order. I'm gonna... Uh, work tomorrow because I today I obviously didn't um and then we're also gonna like get the house in order and then it's time to start packing for San Francisco so whoops <laughs> um yeah but I'm just going to the reading with soaking wet hair because that's what we're that's what that's the reality of things that's, that's what we're working with so everyone will be fine their final session, Dr. Sindak recommended what she called psychodynamic dream space. Nolan had wanted to do the couple's massage instead, but his wife Tara had insisted. Friends, uh, I'm tired. <laughs> um, but it is like... 9.30 Saturday morning. I'm going out for coffee and to work. Our house is insane. It's an absolute gom. Um, and oh, hold on. My neighbor just pulled up and I have mail for her. Okay. Our neighbor moved, moved out who we love and now we're they're looking for someone else and I I don't think anyone is gonna make me I don't think I'm gonna like anyone as much but that's okay um so we are yeah I need to head out I have work to do so um we're gearing up for a season of uh work like travel so we leave for San Francisco in just a few days and I have really one full work day on Monday before I go. And I also have, you know, I have like a couple of hours here and there, but like I'm not gonna be able to work like a full, full day all week next week pretty much other than Monday. So I am, just I'm, and I didn't work yesterday because I, you know we were traveling, so I've just gotta get my life together. Work today, um, and so I'm heading out to the coffee shop. It has been a long time since I've been to a really good coffee shop, so that is something I'm really excited about. We're like gotten to go to like our coffee shop and hang out, so I am excited about that. I also um, we the house is insane. So I was like, I have to leave <laughs> to get any work done because the house is just absolutely bananas. We basically just carried our two cars full of stuff, put them in the house, and we haven't looked at it since, which is not like us. We're usually like very much like unpack the day we get there kind of people um, in terms of like moving. Um, I'm going to pull over before I get out of my neighborhood and chat with you. That's better, a little bit better. Um, yeah, so normally we just kind of like, if we're moving or something, we just unpack as soon as we can. But obviously last night we got home, we had to take a shower, we had his reading, and then we came home, ate dinner at like 9 p.m. and then went to bed. So, um, and we both are pretty exhausted. We woke up this morning like, okay, we have a, we have a day ahead of us. So, um, the goal is to get my work done, make a target run and unpack all the things, but I am over explaining, um, all of that to say, I'm going to end the vlog here. 
you go up tomorrow so I'm actually gonna sit down and edit you this morning and um, so we will we're gonna end say goodbye <laughs> I clearly haven't had coffee yet I'm gonna end the vlog here say goodbye in the more I'm gonna end the vlog here edit you get you uploaded for tomorrow and then I will see you all in San Francisco next week bye